Okay, welcome to what is actually my final video in this series. That is the series where I've modded and weathered my pack to a point where I'm happy that it's event, you know, event ready, con ready. I do a lot of charity events. I've got one coming up in a few weeks and it's ready. I could take this out tomorrow and be happy wearing that. I've done loads. You'll see there's, there's things on here that potentially are a little bit out of place and I'll explain that a bit later on because I've got some other stuff to do in another video, just not right now. Uh, so let's get cracking. I'm gonna list everything I've done. I'll leave the weathering uh, till afterwards. Let's do the modifications and the, the bits I've changed first. So let's start with, the obvious one was the yellow cable. So I got the flex cable, actually, it was probably one of the first things I saw people uh, like mention when they got their packs. Uh, I can't remember if it was just before I got them. I think it was, I mean, I, I had this on the way when this was coming, so it was ready here to change on day one. So it's the first thing I changed. Uh, and I cut it shorter than the other one was. The other one came down a little bit further. And I don't know, I just like to see all the bits and pieces going on in there. So I've cut it a little bit shorter than, than what it should be potentially. Then we've got tape. So I've got loads of tape. This is uh, electrical tape, just your normal standard one of the electrical tape. I've added tape to all the areas where they've moulded and coloured tape. It's like up here, I've got the black tape on here, uh, the red tape there, yellow down the bottom there. And some people have used the blue tape to make this what is a black cable blue, uh, but I actually used the pens, an acrylic pen. I'll show you then later on what I did with those. So these are very important actually, probably probably the easiest thing you can mod on this. Get some electrical tape, doesn't cost the earth, and it will completely change the way it looks. Because the moulded ones, they looked okay, but they were just, you could just tell. Do you know what I mean? It's where it's really shiny and these are quite matte almost. I mean they're shiny, but uh, you know, after you've weathered it and stuff like that, it just looks different, it looks more, it just looks real. You know, it just, just kind of gives the whole aesthetic, you know, a, a, an overhaul that's so easy to do and, and just brings it all together. So that was the main thing. The next thing I did was I've had this stuff for ages. I did I used this stuff on my uh, on my spirit pack. Uh, this is reflect. You see how reflective it is because you've got a, a light behind you. This is, this is reflective hazard tape. I've added it a strip down here, and I've, I've had to cut that because it's not straight on, on the. Uh, uh, it's a slightly different mould on the spirit pack. It's actually a straight line down there, but if actually, actually the bottom part of this actually comes in quite a way. So you've, you've got to mess around cutting it a little bit. And on the, I don't know what you call them on the side there, so I don't know, but I've added them onto the, the cylinders on the side there. Uh, the yellow tape you see on here is just normal yellow uh, electrical tape wrapped around that. And that was done. So let's then come on to the paint pens. These are our acrylic paint pens. These are all the colours that I used because these are the main colours you'll find with the wires. So the wires that are protruding out of the, the hose at the top here, I've painted those. And the wires in uh, the cable where the, the yellow flex is, I've painted those as well. That was really tricky. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll weather them. I'll talk about the weathering later, but I've weathered them so you can't really see them, probably not in, in there, but I'll get a close up picture for, it, for you. Uh, and like I said, I used the blue one to paint the, the cable around the side there. Acrylic is really good for rubber and plastics, and these are pretty much waterproof as well, so you can go outside and you know you're not going to run. The uh, next thing I would talk about, ah, okay, is, yeah, is this, is this thing. Didn't cost a lot of money. This is the copper tape. So this is... Probably the thing I've, I've bought and paid, I think I paid about five or six pounds for this. I think it's like a five meter roll. I think it's five meters. No, I lied. 20 meters, there's 20 meters in there. And I used probably about two inches worth for the connections on there, the copper connections. Just to, and it actually does a really good job, just really rounding them off because where, where they're rubber and they're molded ends, it just didn't, it, it wasn't anything different about it. So it kind of, these kind of set that apart now. It really does really bring them out. 
And I've done the top end of the top here as well, and really does. I think it looks really, really good. To be fair, that's really good. What, what I might do if anyone needs any any of this, you only literally only need about two or three inches worth. Uh, let me know. As long as you pay postage, I don't mind posting you out some. But that was really easy to do. Uh, I just use a knife, so I cut it with with a, a standing knife, and just use a standing blade just to get the edges and poke them round, and that was very effective. What else we got on here? So I think that's probably about it for the modifications. I mean, I've, I've done other stuff as well. So if I turn this around, I've added the top bar there. That is just a, let's see if I can find it for you. It is a pool tube thingy. One of those things you find at the swimming pool. Float, like a, yeah, I don't know what you call it. What do they call it? I can't think now, but it's like, a, yeah, that's all that is, just cut off. And then I've had to cut down, like almost like a V-shape, so they fit over the top of the bar. And then just cut a little, a couple of little holes in the forward part, just to give the uh, straps a bit of movement. I've either probably ripped them off, but, and then just a bit of gaffer tape over it. Bingo, bango. That was uh, easy done. One thing I've done there, I've actually used some, let me have a look. Okay, so I've got some green cloth tape. This is like uh, military cloth tape to bind them together. You find a lot of military users for their webbing and stuff like that. So if you've got excess bits flapping around, I'll use this just to get them, uh, uh, just to roll them up and, and get them out of the way. But I've done that because the difference in, uh, this was the Alice pack I used actually. I wanted to just mention the Alice pack I used on my spirit pack. If I pick my spirit pack up, like this, no issues whatsoever. Because of the weight of this, when I went to pick this up the other day, this buckle leaned forward and actually released the uh, the webbing on that, and the whole thing just went on the floor. This whole thing just went, and yeah, I figured this is probably a good thing to do to stop that ever happening again. Nothing gonna happen to that. I've, I've, I've got the, the webbing wrapped around itself and then around this top part here and it's not going to come out. I've seen people actually, there's an easier fix than this actually, where, where this can go back through the loop a couple of times. Uh, but this has done it for me, I think. Uh, and I think that's probably about it for the, oh, I've uh, coloured the hose. This is the like the gas mask hose uh, part. I've coloured that green and, and weathered it a little bit. But that's about it really. Oh, the only other thing you might notice is I've added the four grip clip that clips on over over the thing so we'll get it off without breaking it. Uh, this came literally a couple of hours ago. There's a file on Thingiverse for this uh, and I printed it off. Uh, I didn't print it off, sorry. I, I, I gave my friend the file and he printed this off for me. Just needs a bit of work. It's actually a really, really good print, but I don't even know if I need to do it. Maybe just, uh, just a coat of paint would probably just be all right on there. And that just clips over there just to hide the, if you don't like the uh, the wood effect, uh, you want a grip on there. Done, awesome. Okay, so for that, uh, in terms of modifications, is probably about it. Nothing strenuous, nothing really difficult. It's all really straightforward and uh, uh, makes a lot of sense. One thing that I did do, I don't think you can see it down there. So, this hose was the issue. My, one of my last videos, uh, which I'll see if I can link somewhere for you, uh, was talking about how you lose connection when you're using the wand. Uh, you know, sometimes you turn you, you have to turn this on first, then the wand on, but then the wand loses power and the whole thing just shuts down after a few seconds. The fix to that is just a little bit of, of tape. I use yellow tape, a little bit of electrical tape, just inside on the, the rim on the inside of this thing here where it connects and done the job. I can now put this on and it stays on for as long as, uh, what was it 30 seconds, as long as it wants to stay on. Uh, and then I can turn it back on again from the same, uh, from the same uh, controls, as long as it's within the five minute cutoff, because there's a five minute cutoff where there's then no power in the whole thing and the one doesn't do anything. But you get, you get my point, I don't want to go too much into that. There's a video, go and watch it. So that's about it for the modifications. 
so now we're going to come to the weathering. Now there's some things I, I didn't like when this turned up. One of them was how they would weathered it. So the, uh, uh, the, the, I don't know what you call it, the metal effect scratches that they put on there was done with maybe like a pen. And it just, just, just wasn't very nice. So I got, I mean, my, my normal go-to is some silver metallic. Uh, so this is the silver leaf rum buff with just an old paintbrush. You see there's still some crap on there. Old paintbrush. And this will make your scratches look absolutely pretty incredible. I did this with the spirit pack. It looked amazing. I've done it on here and it looked fantastic. I overdid it because I knew that I wanted my pack to be proper muddied up. Now, a lot of people, I mean, this isn't for everybody, all right? I wanted to go hammer and tong, uh, and the idea behind this, someone said the other day, and, and I, I will adopt what they said, they said, it looks like it's been stuck in the dirt barn for five years in the corner, sat in the mud. And that's, that's exactly what I wanted to go for. This is just completely, I mean, some people don't like it, and I get that, and some people have commented, that's fine. Uh, but, you know, how different is this to what you what you know when you go to a con or when you go to an event you're not going to see this amount of weathering and i thought it'd be a good idea just to, to see what i could do and how far i could take it i didn't know it'd come out this good i'm really pleased with this absolutely loving it i can't wait to to invent in this uh so yeah so i used this on all the corners and all the edges make all those scratches really, really effective. And this is, don't need a lot. So get, get yourself uh, like a bit of kitchen towel or something and just dab into the, into put this up, a little bit on there, dab into it and then dry it off. You don't want it too wet and then do your scratches. And because this is so, the brush itself, I don't know if you see that, it's probably not in focus. It's quite random, There's, it's not really straight. You get a lot of like, the scratches just look amazing. That's what the kind of thing you want, it's something like that. So if you've got a new brush, Take a pair of scissors and cut into it that way so you can make it really random. Looks really good, very effective, love that. Oh, I think I got that idea years ago from Adam Savage, maybe, I don't know. And then I've used some cotton buds, earbuds, whatever you want to call them, uh, to do some of the bits like the silver effect on where the uh, little connectors are there, so I've dabbed that on. And a few other places as well, you can use, use these just to, just to add a little bit of effect on here and there. And you can use a dry end if you go overboard with it. Uh, it's quite easy. So then I've got the uh, this is the autumn gold rubber buff. This thing is 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 really really good. Very effective to to uh, to look like copper. Funny enough, uh, so I've used this on on some of the copper bits. Now I used again a cotton bud and earbud, and done some copper effects on on a few of the bits and pieces like the uh, the bolts and nuts and stuff and bits and pieces here and there and that looks really effective really really good uh, as a autumn gold funny enough more like copper so that's the main part of the aesthetics now it comes to the muddying this thing up now what I did with this is I've got an old Chinese takeaway tub look at that I've got thousands of these in the cupboard absolutely loads and then I've got my plastic coat brown uh it is just brown i don't think there's a, there's a particular kind yeah, but make sure it's matte you don't want anything that's going to be glossy with this we've gone over get, get yourself somewhere where it's where it's out of the way and you're ventilated spray a bit in there get it nice and wet and there's two ways of using this the first way is while it's wet take take you because i'm using uh this is kitchen roll again while it's wet go over areas where you want lots of mud to be like underneath so like cover some of the silver so what my idea was to do, so I was overdo the silver to cover it over with, with mud. And then once it starts drying in there, start taking a bit onto the, onto the thing so it looks like that. And actually the, the kitchen roll comes off with the paint when it's a bit drier. The kitchen roll comes off the paint. So on all the corners, this is really, you can't tell in the video, but this is really textured. Looks really, really good in places like this. Proper texture. That's because the, not only is the paint drying, but it's also got some of the uh, textures on the tissue. Really, really effective. Uh, I don't know where I came up with that. That just kind of worked out the other day. I didn't know it was gonna be that effective. I'll be completely honest with you. I don't know if someone's ever done that before. I can't tell you. 
Uh, if I've seen it somewhere, then kudos to the person who did it first, but I don't remember where that would be. Uh, that was proper kind of off the cuff done. So apart from that, that's pretty much it. I've got nothing else really going on at the moment. Uh, there is, you'll notice around the side here, a little red object. That is a plastic toy fire extinguisher. I got it off of Amazon for I think about seven, seven pounds. And what I'm gonna do with it, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably won't keep it red. It'll be for another video. Uh, I'll probably weather it up a bit like this and it'll be like as if it was put on the pack a few years ago and it's just been left on there. Uh, but it is functional. You can, you can actually squirt water from it funnily enough. Uh, but it is only a kid's toy. And that's about it. I don't know whether I want to hang this somewhere on there because it's not on my belt anymore. Uh, so I might find somewhere to hang it. I don't know. I was going to put this fits nicely up into here. Problem with that is it then covers all the aesthetics you've got there, all the nice area there, and I kind of like to keep that clear. So it's kind of nice that it's on the other side of the pack where we've got the throw of this side and the extinguisher that side. I don't know, you let me know. Does it look all right? Is it, do you think I should use it or not? Uh, let me know. And um, what do you think I should do with it? Do you think I should maybe, uh, I mean, I could paint it black, I suppose, and then weather it, or do you think I should use some of this, more of this hazard tape on there? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So, uh, that's about it. You know, this video I don't wanna to be too long. It's already 17 minutes, give or take. Uh, and thank you if you've stayed with me all this time, that's brilliant. I am thinking, someone gave me the idea of maybe putting together like a starter modders pack. So maybe have something like four, one, one inch of these in a pack, a couple of inches of the copper tape, because you're going to need that, right? And a few other bits and pieces, potentially, I don't know, maybe a, maybe some rub and buff or and a, and a Thing. So you've got a proper little start pack for modding your kit. It doesn't just have to be this afterlife kit, it could be anything. Uh, but maybe I'll put, I'll get some Flexo as well. You can't get it at the moment because it's all out because everyone's been buying it. But maybe a little start pack. What do you think? Who would be interested in that? Anyone? I'll price, start pricing up, see if anyone's interested. Uh, but apart from that, if you've got any questions, please leave them down below. More than happy to answer any questions. And if you uh, haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, this channel isn't a new channel. This is my personal channel that I've actually converted into my Ghostbuster channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, hit the notification bell if you get if you want to get updates uh, of all my upcoming videos. I am gonna go to bed now. It's really late, but uh, I will read your comments. Hopefully, there will be lots and lots of questions, and I will see you on another video. Uh, what I might do soon. Someone said they they want a video on. On maybe uh, my overalls getting weathered because I think if that's weathered the overalls might be might might as well be a bit dirty right who wants that right then I'm gonna get going thank you very much for your time today uh, it's a very long video 20 minutes or so but uh, you know there was a lot to go through and hopefully uh, you could guys can learn something from what I've taken from this and uh, you know, make your pack your own, that's what it's all about. Hopefully I can see some of you guys on a troop or something soon. Bye right, guys, take it easy.